So to get started on our cherry tomato shrimp scampi, here I have in my bowl like about a pound of shrimp. I use the Good and Gather brand from Target. It's like my favorite place to get shrimp. You don't have to get fresh shrimp. I'm gonna tell you why because all that shrimp that's sitting there, bruh, it is already frozen and defrosted. So there's that. So your best bet is to get some frozen shrimp. And I have, these are considered jumbo actually, but they look pretty small, right? Anyway, so I have just about some salt here. I didn't use a lot of salt. And I use just about a, like a, a third of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm using some pepper flakes. And of course, you're going to eyeball the pepper flakes because, I mean, it depends on how much you would like. So, there's that. And then, I'm just going to add some some black pepper and literally that is all you're gonna need for your shrimp because we're gonna season it as we go along of course I'm just gonna get a spatula and I'm just gonna toss this like so and it's okay if you have like a little bit of liquid because the shrimp does that when it's resting and it's fine and I'm just gonna put that to the side and I'm gonna show you the rest of the things you need for the shrimp skin. So here I have one whole shallot that I diced and I'm gonna use that also as the base for my shrimp scampi. I also went ahead and I diced it up some to make some red bell peppers. And I also did some yellow, as you can see. And I went ahead and I chopped up one whole onion so it's like eeny meeny miny and the tomatoes would be mo right <laughs> so i'm gonna use this as my starting point for my shrimp cherry tomato shrimp scampi and i'm also gonna use that with some i'm trying to decide if i want to use parpadelle or spaghetti and i think i'm more going for spaghetti just because it's smaller and their shrimp so it's gonna give it like a nice oomph and i have also here a little bit of diced jalapeno peppers that pretty much is unconventional and you don't have to add it i'm just adding it for a kick because i mean everything's better with jalapenos okay so here i have about let's say a third of a cup of cherry tomatoes i pretty much sliced them down in half and i put them in a bowl everything i did i pretty much like pre-chopped it and put it aside because it's literally work smarter not harder okay so you pre-chop everything beforehand and here i also have one whole shallot a large one i pretty much like diced it up and okay here i have my little ninja blender aka the chopper and so i'm just gonna put this over it and as you can see on the inside i have about eight garlic and i'm gonna like rough chop it because i don't have like one of those little choppers whatever so this is what i'm doing if you're good at chopping it with your hands be my guess but like i said for me it's work smarter not harder and this literally cuts it down in like two seconds voila see that there you go and so that's gonna go with our shrimp scamp here as well i'm gonna go ahead and i am going to start my cherry tomato shrimp scampi oh it's gonna be so good Okay, so here in my pan, I'm gonna add some olive oil and I am just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna quickly stir my shrimp really quickly, not cooked it like all the way through just so it could give that flavor and then I'm gonna re-add it. 
I'm just gonna let my oil, that was like about a half of a tablespoon. So I'm just gonna do say about eh, one tablespoon roughly. Just enough to get like really hot. I'm gonna turn my stove up just a bit to like medium high. And olive oil doesn't have like a really great smoke point. So you don't wanna turn it up too high because it's gonna burn. And I really need olive oil, honestly. So I'll say medium, medium, low. And I'm just gonna let my oil heat up there. And I'm now going to go, I'm just gonna turn it up to medium. Just so my oil can get like nice and hot. And now I'm gonna just add my shrimp in. And you wanna do this really fast. And also be careful. At this point, I turned it down because it's kind of like, has a little bit of liquid. And so it's gonna splatter. And you don't really want that, but that's okay too. Even though I took out like all the excess liquid, but sometimes that doesn't even work. Like <laughs> so I'm just gonna put those in. And I'm not gonna let them cook for less than about a minute per side. Honestly. Just like a minute, just so the pan can like get like that nice flavor once you see it start to turn that color you flip it over you know i don't want it too pink and too cooked because i just want it to give the oil that nice seafood flavor and so in just about a minute now i'm gonna turn my stove up just a little bit more and now I'm going to flip it just because, again, I don't want it cooked too much. That little pale pinkness right there, that's good enough for me. And so after this, I'm just going to come back and put it in a bowl and add my veggies. Okay, so it's been about one minute. I am literally taking my shrimp out. I don't want them to overcook. Definitely don't want that because I have to end up adding the shrimp back in. Like I said earlier, I just wanted it nice and, you know, tender just so it could give that seafood flavor. And that's about it. And I'm gonna roast my tomatoes in that nice little sauce there. And that's gonna be amazing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more olive oil. So all in all, like about two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'm gonna turn my stove down because it's already, you know, hot. And I'm just gonna add my my tomatoes. Just for the tomatoes to get, you know, nice and wilted. I'm gonna flip some up and I'm gonna leave some on the butt, <laughs> I call it the butt. I let that do its thing. And I'm just gonna let the tomato do its thing for about two to three minutes max. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start on my tomatoes. I mean my pasta, sorry. And then I'm gonna add my remainder of my peppers and my onions in here 
And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this. Not, nothing crazy, just a pinch. Literally, just a pinch. So it could get out all that juice from that tomato. Okay, here I have a pork pot, and I'm to that, I'm just gonna add about one tablespoon of kosher salt. Literally one tablespoon of kosher salt. Cause that's all you really gonna need. Cause kosher salt is very salt. And I'm just gonna do about a handful of spaghetti. And it literally goes through your index finger and your thumb. And that's how you know it's the right amount. And I'm just gonna drop that in there. We don't break our spaghetti over here, guys. That is like cardinal food sin. So a palm and like an index finger and then some. And you just push it down. You let that come to a boil until it's al dente. And then I'll add it to my scampi. All right, so my tomatoes is pretty much done. I'm gonna turn my stove down. It's, oh, it's on low. I'm gonna add my garlic. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my onion. I love onion, it gives such a great flavor. I'm also going to add my shallot. I'm going to add my peppers. And I'm gonna add my my red peppers as well. And I'm just gonna get a nice little spatch. And I'm gonna stir this around. Oh man, this is gonna be so delish. Look at that prettiness. I mean, it literally doesn't get any prettier than this. It's definitely not your traditional shrimp scampi, but it's gonna be a very delicious shrimp scampi. That's for sure. Sorry to uh, get tongue tied. <laughs> and to this, I am just gonna add some white wine. Cause baby, everything is better with white wine. This is a Sauvignon Blanc from, I'm not sure, it's like a wood bread. You could use literally any white wine you have. I'm gonna now turn my stove up. And I'm going to let this do its thing. I'm gonna let that wine, just about a half a cup of white wine. And save some for drinking, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. And to that, I'm gonna add some salt. And with the salt, guys, it's literally to your liking, to your preference. I'm just doing a pinch because the pasta is already have some salt. And salt is something that you can't take away once you add it. So I'm gonna let this do its thing for about five or so minutes and then I'm gonna be back. All right, so as you can see, my sauce literally reduced and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some butter to that. I have one stick of, one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter and that is unsalted by the way. And I'm just gonna mix this in like so. Make that thing nice and creamy, baby. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I'm literally gonna add some shrimp stock that I had from earlier and I'm 
and I'm gonna add it inside of my sauce here. And this have all kinds of goodness in it. It has celery, it has onions, and it's gonna make this thing taste so good, man. Can't wait. And I'm just gonna let this boil a little bit more so that everything comes together. And what I'm gonna also do is I have a lemon and I am going to zest my lemon literally over this and I'm also gonna use the lemon juice and if you're using a, a, a lemon always try to not get the white part of that lemon in there that's bitter you literally just need the the yellow part that's all you're gonna need for this and so I'm gonna finish zesting this lemon and put it in there and man I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna add my shrimp and my noodles and we're gonna have a meal and you could then have it with a nice glass of wine because why not it's deserving of it it's gonna taste amazing so have a glass of wine while eating this delicious meal and literally guys this takes less than 30 minutes to be quite honest so i'm just gonna turn my stove up to medium let this reduce just a tad not too much and when i when it finish doing its thing i'm gonna add my pasta and shrimp and some parsley okay as you can see it is reduced and now I'm just going to go ahead, add my shrimp back in and all that nice juices from the shrimp. And I'm going to also add a juice of one lemon. I'm not going to use all of it, just about half of that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add just about two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. Baby, ah, look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and now I'm going to add my noodles because they're al dente. And I'm just gonna put them in here like so. And I'm gonna turn my stove off. And we're just gonna toss that around. Because again, you don't want your shrimp to overcook because it is literally already pre-cooked. So the heat is just gonna literally finish that off. And then I'm just gonna get my Tongs, and I'm gonna toss this around and I'm gonna get some nice Parmesan cheese after I put this in a bowl and baby it is gonna do what it's supposed to do okay I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna plate this in a nice little serving bowl and you could do it for like a nice outside picnic man this is looking so good and there you have it guys, that is my shrimp scam. All right, so here I have my serving bowl and I'm gonna add my shrimp scampi to it because yeah, it is literally giving what it's supposed to do. Okay, look at that. Ooh. All that good shrimp, all that juicy tomato, that nice sauce, that fresh parsley. I mean, guys, it literally doesn't get any better than this right here. You know what I say. The food here, it don't just 
look good, but it tastes amazing, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some Parmigiano Reggiano on top of this because everything is literally better with cheese and it is just going to make that sauce I mean, divine, okay? Look at that. Ooh, baby. Yes, it is given. I mean, come on. It is literally giving life, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious meals. Now, y'all know I was going to try this food. Yes. Cause baby is given. Okay? We just gonna scoop that noodle up like so, like that. Mm. Listen. Listen. Okay. Delicious. Don't forget, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more delicious meals. Follow me on TikTok at Spice Grave Cuisine and go ahead, run on over to Instagram, follow me there and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that notification bell.